Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Firstly, the foremost, I'm gonna give all praises and glory and honor this due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful leg. It was in the gospel of God, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Rabbi B. It's the Aki and Mahalaya coming back with another lesson through the spirit. This is about a little a dream I had last night, man. It was real spiritual. And um, it just dawned on me, spirit said, go ahead and speak on it a little bit. Because uh, thinking about the name of the Most High, how we here uh, in this ministry, I believe out of all the Israelite camps, the man of the great millstone pushes the name, the toughest. Okay, we push the name, we stand behind the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, we live by that name. Nothing more, nothing less. While other camps, they play with it, they say Christ here, they say, you know, the Most High God. You know, which we say the most high Because it's just a title But uh, you got guys that say Christ And I remember when Nate Was praying uh, The other day Allegedly for his enemies Which he considered The men of the great millstone And Yohanna us to be their enemies Because we've been getting on them for years But the scriptures say Do I then become your enemy Because I tell you the truth Like you guys are enemies But it's not to the point that yeah we want to find you and do some craziness to you no you are enemies because you're just averse to the scriptures you're averse to what it is we ain't y'all ain't our enemies like we want to do you guys harm or anything like that but the most high is going to do you harm if y'all don't get it together but we ain't enemies among the other camps like we going gang bang on other camps no 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 an enemy can be your brother you can be at alts with a brother in the truth and at that particular time he's an enemy doesn't mean you hate the guy you know, and it happens. Like, you can consider that Paul and Barnabas, though they were brothers, you can consider them to be enemies because what? They were averse to one another, all right? But yet they were teaching the same gospel. Now, with that being said, the dream revolved around the name of the Lord. So it was me and three other brothers in my camp. It was me, the brother under me. It was a, a, a brother that's being tried right now. He's not in the camp, but he's, he's uh, I'm not gonna put his name out there, but he's being tried. You know, he's been out with us for about a year, um, over a year, going away. I think it's been, yeah, it's been over a year. He's been on the other side of the line over a year. Coming out, doing shows, you know, diligent brother. You know, I think he got a beautiful spirit. I love his spirit. You know, only time would tell, you know, brother is, yeah, I believe he's sincere, but you know, he, he knows if he's sincere, but only time would tell, you know, if the Lord is gonna be ultimately dealing with us or not. But uh, <clears throat> it was me, him, the brother under me, and it was a new brother, like, I, never seen this guy a day in my life and i'm assuming a brother that's being tried he kind of came up with him because you know a lot of times you hear word of mouth hey yeah the brothers are out here teaching go and listen you know go out there and, and and come listen to this word it happens brothers bring other brothers so we was like out on the highways and the byways but we were sitting at this table and right next to us was iuic and they gave us this dirty look man you know because we was preaching in the name of the lord and then once we did the opening salute all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. All of a sudden, man, we looked around and them niggas gave us a look and they disappeared and walked off on us. So I'm like, damn, what was that all about? Which proves that these guys don't deal with the name of the Most High, man. All right, for whatever reason, they don't deal with the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, they're not, they're not, they're not dealing with the name, unfortunately. And, uh, I'm assuming that's why they walked off, why they disappeared. You know what I mean? So through the spirit, I'm like, yeah, that's because the spirit is not dealing when the Lord is getting ready to do something to that congregation. He's getting ready to scatter those men abroad. You know, and the ones that this is for, of course, they're going to come into the ministry. They're going to teach the right doctrine, but they don't believe in the name of the Lord. And even if they do believe in it, they don't push it. And that's a very bad thing because I kid you not, after we did the opening salute, they left on us they just gave us this dirty look because we was calling on the name and all of a sudden they dipped so it was me and the brother under me and uh the other two brothers we was on the highway we were driving and all of a sudden we looked up we saw the chariots man you know and they wasn't big or anything like that but they was like little orbs and they was sifting you can tell they was traveling uh they was traveling they was moving through the atmosphere i'm like oh shit so that proves that that name of the lord is a very powerful thing to call on man and and guys out there man y'all better start calling on the name of the lord because we're coming into the times now that the scriptures say 
he that should have called on the name of the Lord, the same shall be saved. You know, so call on that name, man. You know, For those of you out there that have an ear to hear, to, to take heed to it, man, because that's not a light thing, butchering the Lord's name. That's not a light thing at all. And the Lord can destroy you for that. Because like I said, man, we was preaching right next to him. We was like a two, it, it, it was like two tables. We was like sitting at a table, but we was standing at the same time. And it was like right, like really, like really the arms reached next to us, but it was a barrier between us and them. It was like a barrier in the division between us and them. And uh, that's, and before you know it, the name came out, they disappeared on us. So anyway, I got a precept here. This is the book of uh, Malachi 1. And I'm going to start at verses. Uh, this is, as a matter of fact, this is. This is, uh, the whole chapter is good, but let's start at 11. It says, For from the rising of the sun, even to going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, okay? The mother nations, because the other nations are going to know the name of Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai too. You see? That's the spirit. You got this damn thing. I hear that? Look like a cattle copter though. They never flew this low over my house. Anyway, it says, going down the same, my name should be great among the Gentiles, and in every place incense should be offered unto my name. The name of the Lord is very important, man. Okay? You have to pray in that name. And that's the spirit, because Apostle Gabar did a video two days ago going into the name, how we worship Yahweh Shah. He is to be worshipped. He is. Okay? Because the scriptures. His name means to he, he delivers. And it says, In every place incense should be offered unto my name. And a pure offering, pure, not no half-ass shit. Not no fake throwing up demonic hand signs. Oh, in the name of Christ we pray. Why would you pray in that name? Especially when the scriptures tell you what name to pray in. It says, In a pure offering, and my name should be great among the heathen, says the Lord of hosts. Okay? So there you go, man. That name is very, very important. Because also the scriptures say uh, his name would be dreadful among the heathen too. Because the type of judgment that the Lord is going to do, going back to the term Alashaja, which means terrible demon-like energy or power, that was a title for the Most High back in the ancient world because he was known to bring destruction. And he's going to go back to that name in the earth, Alashaja. All right. And it says, but ye have profaned it. And that ye say, the table of the Lord is polluted and the fruit thereof, even his meat is contemptible. Okay? And that's what you guys are saying when it comes to the name of the Most High because you don't deal with it ultimately. Ultimately, it's a burden to you. Okay, But through us, it's going to be salvation because let's get that in the book of um, Acts. Let's get that in the book of Acts 2. And I'm going to start at verses 21. It says, and it should come to pass that whosoever should call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shah of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. So we're going to be saved through the name of Yahweh Shah, man. Point blank, period. All right. We don't care if you don't like it or not. If you don't like it, it is too bad. It's your problem. You deal with it. Alright, uh, yep, Acts 4 and 12, this is the book of Acts 4 and 12, 11, matter of fact, I started 10, it says, be it known unto you all and unto the people of Israel by that name of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom the Most High raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you hold, all right, all right, because this ministry, okay, the gospel we're teaching, we're preaching through the spirit, it says, and this is the stone which was set in naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner, right? Because you builders is going into you other camps, you other Israelites out there that's uh, uh, dealing with these false gods. Because if you call on Christ, that's considered a false god. That's a heathenistic god, okay? It says, but neither is that salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that's Yahweh Shai, and Nate knows that. He used to teach his congregation the name of Yahweh Shai. So how he's going to redact and go back to Christ? You know? Proverbs 18 and 10. It says here, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous one of the two of them is safe. 
So you'll be a fool not to use the name of the Lord. But anyway, with that, I'm going to close out giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How shy? With that, shalom and a baba ball.